It's me, Avi. I'm back. It's me. I know, I know. I'm gonna be eating and telling you guys a story. a story. So this is part one of the stalker story. Um, if you guys want part two and part three, this is a long, a very long story time. So if you guys want more of the series, just let me know. Today's been a really hard day. I get a lot of hate on the internet for the strings thing. I do it for fun. I do it because a lot of people make fun of me for it. And I think it's, I love laughing at other people <laughs> and they laugh along with me. So you guys make fun of me and I laugh along. I've made some mistakes and I've apologized to the people that I've made the mistakes. To. So I'm just trying to move on with life. I lost my purse and my account is banned right now. Um, so this is in God's hand Love you. All right, so let's go drive and let's get to the story time. All right. All right. I'm all back together I got the Domino's Woo! Domino's please sponsor me like girl needs it. Um, I might have already started eating it in the car Also, does anyone else do this and then I'll actually get to the story I get a piece of the crust and then I get the actual pizza and I like make a sandwich. Just me? Okay. So let's start from the beginning. So this was around three months ago, so it's a little too soon to talk about it, but whatever. I was in my LA apartment. I lived alone, going through my DMs like normal, you know, getting the hate comments, the death threats, you know the vibes. I get a DM and it said, I know where you live. And yeah, might have been a troll. At the moment I was like, definitely a troll. I moved on with the day. Next day is Monday, and my friend, I'm not gonna say her name, cause you know, I gotta be respectful, was coming into town, and I was so excited, like, I'm, I was so excited. I picked her up, we got to my apartment, whatever, everything was dandy, everything was fine. So we're planning to go out that night. I don't party anymore, by the way, guys. There's still COVID going on. But anyway, we're getting ready, getting all cute, you know, the vibes, you know, really like, you know, like really getting into it. And the same person DMs me and goes, are you going to the party tonight? And I showed my friend, let's call my friend Shaniqua. So I showed Shaniqua and I was like, girl, she got scared, but like I wasn't, you know what I mean? You know, I kind of just ignored it and went on with the day. So we get to the party and we're walking inside, saying our highs, we're here, the greetings, what up? I get a notification, a little dangling. And he had the audacity to say, I see you. Excuse me? What? So I'm like freaking out and I'm like We Gucci I found a spot anyway, so I ignore it and I go on with my night and you know We're just having fun dancing, you know the deal and then Shaniqua, you know the girl she taps on my shoulder and she goes Do you know this dude? I Turn around and it's just maybe 40 year old man who's wearing like jeans, a black shirt, and like he had hair and he had like a, what are they called? A beanie. And I look at Shaniqua and I was like, no, I don't know who that is. And she goes, he's been following us for the last 30 minutes. And then I get a notification. And the notification says, I'm right behind you. So we're obviously freaking out. So we decide to leave the party, like peace out, we're out. We get home, it's a chill night, we fall asleep. The next day we decide to go to the Grove. And if you don't know what that is, it's a really popular mall. So we're at the Grove, hanging out, and we're, we, I don't know, we got like a donut and like a smoothie or whatever. And we're sitting and we're eating it. A, a supporter, a girl, I think her name was Ashley. I remember all your names. If you come say hi, I, girl, I remember your name. So he was like, hi, can I take a photo, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yes. Obviously, so we're taking photos and I look at the corner of my eye and who do I see our little friend or amigo and he's looking at me and he's holding a phone like this in that moment I didn't know really what to think anyway, and I look at Shaniqua and I'm like Look over there Yeah, yeah, he's there so the supporter and I are done talking, she leaves, and we're just sitting there looking at the sky, and he's, he's straight up like this, and he's like this the whole time. He's like, like you can tell he's recording us. And like, I'm fine with people recording and stuff like that, but like, I don't know, I think from a 40 year old man who's very sus, not to mention he's my stalker who's DM'd us a lot, followed us to the party, um, maybe permission, yeah. So he's taking a video of us and me and Shaniqua are freaking out. And I was trying to chill. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to move. And if he follows me, that's how I can confirm that he's a stalker. Shaniqua and I go around the corner 
you already know he was following us with his phone just walking right behind us and then I was like oh my god no this is not happening like this isn't the same guy this isn't the guy who DM'd me this isn't happening so then I'm like okay let's try something else so we go inside Zara which is outside of the market he follows me into Zara I grab clothes and I'm like let me go in the in the dressing room like I'm really confirming this now like I, I, I'm trying to make sure I'm not crazy we come out and he's just right there in front of us with the camera so I'm freaking out and me and Shaniqua start running out of the store and we want to know if he's gonna follow us again and he comes out with the camera right he's not just from afar taking videos he starts getting closer and I'm losing my temper I'm losing my temper and I'm like you know what I'm gonna put on my big girl panties my big girl strings and I'm gonna go confront him and honestly now thinking of this I shouldn't have done this just because he could have been armed like it could have been bad and also that's just the satisfaction for him like some people are psycho so I go up to him and I'm like literally yelling sir I have noticed you've been recording me and my friend can I just look at your camera roll real quick because you've been following me is there a problem and he's looking at me and he's like, no, no, like, no, I haven't been recording you. I haven't been following you. And I'm like, sir, I literally was in the dressing room and you were outside of it. And then he's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, okay, can I look at it? And he, sh he shows me the camera. This man goes to an album. He doesn't go to recently photos that were taken. He goes to an album. And I'm like, sir, can you go to the recently, like, photos? He goes to it. There's nothing there. And I'm like, okay, I know... I know this man took photos like I'm not gonna play. I'm not no no cap. That was so cringy I'm never saying that again. Oh my God. You're probably not even subscribed. Please subscribe. So I ask one more question I go sir. Can you go through your recently deleted? He starts getting really defensive and he's like no 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 like you can't see that like you can't I'm like sir you were obviously taking videos and photos like can I look at it? And then finally he shows it to me once I'm like I'm literally gonna you know call the police like whatever it was a 20 minute video long of me and my friend walking around and he also has photos of our booties like zoomed in photos of our booties and i look at him and i go please delete them he deletes them they're gone forever that's not the end of the story though it goes way downhill and i really wish i didn't confront him but yeah guys that's part one the story is way too long this has to be like a three-part series but um let me know if you want part two let me tell you it's probably one of the craziest stories like this happened to me but it's the craziest story i've, I've ever heard and it happened to me like after that happened he became obsessed with me and my friend shaniqua let's just say that so that's just a teaser um that's really it for today's story time vlog i know that was absolutely psycho i love you guys so much um also i got vaccinated wait can you see it okay you know what whatever go get vaxxed i love y'all so much let me know down below if you want part two all right guys i love you so much bye